Now, uh, a campaigner who's showing her opposition to the proposed high-speed rail link through the West Midlands by walking the entire route is passing through Warwickshire today. Lizzie Williams chairs the South Northamptonshire Action Group, uh, otherwise known as SNAG, against HS2. She set off four days ago and will be joined on her walk by fellow, ca fellow campaigners from Burton Green tomorrow. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning. How would you feel? I'm pretty tired, actually, um, but it's a beautiful morning, and um, I'm really pleased with how far we've got so far and all the, all the people that we've met and the things we've found out. OK. Who's we? Um, well, myself and my son walked the first two days, and, and my dog, and then Joe Rukin from Kenilworth Action Group has been joining me at various points and acting as support. Um, and we've been meeting people up and down the line who are affected by this and who don't know about this and um, generally, you know, we're just trying to spread the word. OK. Well, um, before we talk about the war, let's, let's remind people uh, about why you're doing it. The high-speed rail link proposals are that High Speed 2 will link the West Midlands to London. Trains will travel at speeds up to 250 miles an hour, which will cut journey times to around 46, you know, by 46 minutes. Why would you be opposed to it, Lizzie? Um, we're not opposed, well, I'm not opposed to past the train. What I'm opposed to is this proposal. This proposal has been cobbled together by this government and none of it, uh, none of it stands up to scrutiny, technically, environmentally or sustainably. It, uh, we all want better transport in this country, but this is going to cost billions. And if we're going to spend this money, let's spend this money in the right way. Um, and this proposal definitely is not the right way to do this. When you, when you say cobbled together, it has, it has been a long sort of process of getting to this stage now. It's, you know, with consultations and things. Um, what makes you think that it's, it's you know, it's, it's not been thought out? Well, the consultation hasn't been carried out yet. The public consultation will be in the spring next year. Um, the contract was awarded to a company that did the proposal about two years ago. Um, and we, we've been meeting with um, High Speed 2 Limited, etc., and, and scrutinising their plans and then pointing out silly things like they've missed out roads and they've missed out bridges and things like that. They really have just literally taken a rule and drawn a straight line from London to Birmingham. Um, hmm. well, you, live, you, know, you live two miles uh, from the line, but the government has announced a compensation scheme for those in property that will be blighted uh, by the scheme. Isn't, yes. isn't that enough or wasn't that good enough for you? It's not good enough at all. Um, it's, it's almost impossible to fulfil the criteria to, to be eligible to get that compensation. And because they, the route isn't absolutely clearly defined at the moment, it's very, very difficult, unless your house is going to, you know, clearly going to be demolished, to apply for that. People within, you know, uh, uh, several miles of the line who, whose lives, you know, they cannot sell their properties. Who's going to buy a house that could be next to this? They're in terrible situations, and we have some people in dire circumstances, particularly elderly people, who can't now sell their property and downsize and move into residential care because of this, and that's very unfair. So your, your property as such, Lizzie, is not being affected. I mean, you live two miles from it, so does it, affect, does it actually affect you? It will affect me because... Um, Everybody in this country owns the countryside. It's part of beautiful Britain. We all enjoy it. It's going to take a huge amount of our countryside away from us. I will hear the noise. It's going to be 95 decibels, this, this train. You will hear it four miles. And it's going to be very visually intrusive. We're talking about 13-metre embankments at some places. Mm. But, but I suppose, you know, some people might argue, Liz, Lizzie, you know, you know, you, you come up with all these arguments, but at the end of the day, we can't halt progress. People need to travel to the capital. They need to make money. The country needs to turn over uh, with investment and business and, and, and working capital. Well, the economic assumptions that they've used, we believe, are completely flawed. If you look at the economic assumptions they used on High Speed 1 in Kent, um, it is failing. It has not met any of the passenger forecasts that they said it would, and it's lost this country billions of pounds. This one is very similar. If we had faster trains that stopped in more places and benefited more people, then surely that would be better than, than a fast train that hardly anybody is going to use. I mean, they're talking about well, 1,100 well, people on each train. Yeah, well, well, you know, that, there's a big dispute about that because a lot of people will benefit from it. But what I'm interested in, in this, uh, what, what I'm interested in, well, <laughs> well, there's a lot of businessmen and, and people will argue against that. But what I'm interested in, Lizzie, is what made you get up from your sofa and start this war? What was the, what was the trigger? Because I, people to, I want people to have the debate that we're having now. I want people to make 
sure that when we commit to this project, if we commit to this project and we spend this money, that we do it right. Mm. Okay, you're, um, okay, tell us about your son. You're 36. You, you know, your son's with you on this walk. How old is he? He's nine. Oh, okay. And your, and your dog? Um, is he enjoying the walk? Does he understand what it's all about or is it just a big jolly with mum? Oh, no, he definitely understands it. And, we, you know, I'm using it as an educational exercise for him as well, looking at countryside, looking at animals, looking at um, flora and fauna and history and talking to people. He's not with me today because he's a bit tired today. Um, but, yes, he's, he's had a really good time. And what's remarkable about you, Lizzie? Um, you're unable to work anymore because you, followed a, you had a traumatic brain injury. Uh, with, with nerve damage as well. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's, well, it has been challenging for you, hasn't it? It is very challenging for me. It, it's two years on Monday that I had my accident and it take, there's no way I would be doing this it, uh, in, in, last year. Um, and when you have a brain injury, you do, you do continuously improve, but you get to a level where you're left with certain issues and tiredness is one of my biggest ones and weakness. Um, and this is really, really hard for me. Yesterday I only did about four miles because I was so tired and finding it really hard. Mm. How long will it take you? You set up four days ago. How long will it take you to complete the route? I think it will take me about a month. Okay, all right. So you, you, you'll be up health-wise to do that? Um, well, I'm going to try to be. I will get there somehow. Um, I've got lots of people supporting me along the way and I'm resting in between. Mm. Um, I will do my best. Although, do you think, you know, you, you'll be able to achieve your goal to stop this? A lot of people want it to go to go ahead. You know, it is going to help, you know, sort of business, whatever you, whatever we argue against, you know, people do need to go to Linda. Do you think you'll actually achieve your goal in, in stopping this? I have no idea. I'd like to think that we come up with something better. Um, what you have to know about in Warwickshire is that we don't have any stations on this, so the economic benefits are co going to be concentrated on London and Birmingham. And where they've got these kind of trains in Europe, they've proven that that sucks all the investment away from the areas in between. And people in Warwickshire need to know that. OK. Well, you're meeting the Burton Green Group tomorrow. We spoke to Jerry Marshall from the Burton Green Group. They'll be joining you tomorrow on your walk. Uh, Lizzie Williams, uh, a chair from the South Northamptonshire Action Group, uh, SNAG, against HS. S2. Uh, gosh, all I can say is it, it's going to be a challenging few weeks for you. Best of luck with your walk. Thank you very much. No worries. you. No worries. And uh, you know, uh, let us know what you think about uh, Liz's uh, campaign. Uh, well, not just hers, but the, 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 um, the campaign against the high-speed rail link too.